The question we're going to worry about now is how difficult is it to compute the determinant of a matrix from a computational complexity point of view? Let's think, let's say you've got an n by n matrix and you want to compute the determinant by minor expansion. I don't know, pick your favorite row, favorite column, say first row. Okay, for each term in that row, you have to compute the minor determinant of an n minus one square matrix. And for each of those, then you have to do an expansion and compute a determinant of an n minus two square matrix. And you keep going and you keep going. Ooh, that's a lot of computations. How many? It sure seems as though you need to do something like n factorial operations in order to compute that determinant. And that means game over. There's no way you're going to be able to compute the determinant of a 100 by 100 matrix. So what are we going to do? We're going to give up? No, we're not going to give up. There's an easy way to fix this if we remember what we've learned, namely row reduction and the multiplicative property of determinants. Let's think about this. There's a big idea that drives this. Let's say you have a triangular matrix, upper, lower, whatever. Let's say we've got an upper triangular matrix. We're going to be clever and we're going to do a minor expansion about the first column because that only requires the computation of one n by n determinant. All the others have zeros in front of them. And that n minus one square matrix determinant, we're going to expand that about the first column as well because it's still upper triangular. We keep going, we keep going, and by induction we see that for a triangular matrix, upper or lower, the determinant is simply the product of the diagonal terms. And that is a great relief because that really only requires a linear number of operations. That is so much better from a computational complexity point of view. So here's the big idea. We're going to take a general square matrix, row reduce it down to, let's say, an upper triangular matrix, and then compute the determinant from that. But in order to do so, we need to know what row reduction does to the matrix. And here is something big. We're going to start with our matrix A and row reduce it step by step. Let's use subscripts. Let's say we start with A0, then we go to A1, A2, all the way up through AM, which is an upper triangular matrix. Each step is one single row operation, but we're going to think of those row operations in terms of linear transformations and matrix multiplication, multiplying on the left as you go in order to convert A into an upper triangular matrix. Now, I don't know what those matrices are yet, but I do know the multiplicative property for determinants says that the determinant of that product is the product of the determinants. And even though the determinant of A is hard to compute, the determinant of U, that upper triangular matrix, it's easy. So if I want to compute the determinant of A, all we need to do is figure out what matrices correspond to these row operations and how hard is it to compute the determinants of those guys.